Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q3 of the weekly contest, uh, 343, Minimum Cost of a Path with Special Roads. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. So this one is, to be honest, way possibly tricky. Um, the key part of this problem is... Um, the key part of this problem is just noting the constraints. And the constraint is that special roads only has 200 uh, nodes. And that, of course, is this is actually a unidirectional um, a road, so you can't go backwards. So I, think, I guess you don't really would want to anyway. But in any case, and everything else, the numbers don't really matter because, you know, just the beginning and the end matters. And the way that I did it is with actually a very really standard dexterous algorithm. Um, Maybe I shouldn't say standard. It's a modified Dijkstra um, in that basically what I did is that for each of the special roads, I go, what is the smallest path that takes me to that special road, right? And 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 the rest of this is going to be Dijkstra, but I also set the best as to if we just skip all the roads. Uh, there are different ways to kind of do this in a good way, but the way that I did it is that I... You know, this is the, the default sentinel is that we skip all the roads, all the special roads, and just go directly in the Manhattan distance kind of way. And then I set that to be zero from the from the start, right? And some index, I guess, for whatever reason. And then now on, on the re relaxation of the Dijkstra, um, we do the Dijkstra stuff. We go, okay, if we are here, we, if we're, so XY is our current location. If we had the XY, then best is you go to the best and... And basically, this is the current distance to the XY. Um, and we just kind of, you know, going from the current XY to the target plus the current distance that you accumulated. And that's just basically updating the best distance. Otherwise, I um, this is just going to be... So for, every, for the current XY, we just literally try to use every special road. The cost is going to be this thing where the existing you know, path to the current x, y, and then uh, this is the cost to go to the, the 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 entrance of the special road, and this is the cost to use the special road. If this cost is smaller than we've seen before, then this is the standard thing of updating it and pushing it to the heap. That's pretty much it. And basically, um, for every i that comes up, and it, this should be index, um, when we relax a node, and relax meaning that this is, you know, th this is the case. Um, this is going to be the shortest distance to the end of that special road. And, and we just check to go from that special road to, other, to every other special road or, uh, this thing, right? So yeah, uh, to the, to the, um, uh, to the target, right? Uh, so yeah, so in this case, what is the complexity, right? Um, I think now that I think about it, I mean, this is basically going to be v square, which is, uh, well, I guess technically not v square. Sorry, this is going to be y square, where y is the number of ed well, in this case, uh, the, um, I think the, the the confusing thing is that even though these are roads and additional edges. Um, I actually represent them as a as a as a combination node of some sort. So, so the V and the E's are a little confused because I, I in a if you want to look at you know a very naive graph, I create almost like a dual graph where the nodes are the the starting points of the special node nodes, um, and and do some modification of that and kind of condensing the nodes and the edges and stuff like that. And then the actual edges are not the special roads. The the edges are are connecting from each uh, dual graph node to every other dual graph node, which is the beginning of the... Uh, connecting the end of the special road and the beginning of the special road. Something like this, right? So in this case, where that is E, um, well, E is the number of total edges in this case um, and V in this case is the number of special roads um, and Y in this case is going to be a full graph which is V square so uh, 
and, and in this case, as a result, it is going to be v square log v, um, or v square log y anyway. But that also is v. So yeah, um, given that v is two hundred, it is going to be fast enough, and and yeah, that should be fast enough. Um, yeah, uh, I guess now that I think about it, I could have done the other. Um, Yeah, now that I think about it, I guess I could have done the other implementation of heap. Oh, sorry, not of heap, but of the uh, the other implementation of Dijkstra, which would have been just V-square, which is optimal for a full graph. Um, because it's just basically every time you relax a node, you, you uh, do all this, and then you just search for the minimum element in the number of nodes instead of the number of log E. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It is what it is, though, and this is fast enough, thankfully. So yeah, um, but that's pretty much it. The idea, uh, the idea is using Dijkstra and kind of using this idea of creating a um, a dual graph or a graph prime, if you will, basically another equivalent graph that has these kind of properly. And because, like I said, the number of special world is two hundred. That is the number that we focus on, and that is the number that we're able to kind of solve against. Um, yeah. And I believe I had one of the fastest Q3 destroyed by the, one of the slowest Q4, but um, so I was very happy about that. Uh, yeah. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and you can watch me solve it live during the contest now. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Start. Do -do -do -do. Okay, da -da -da. X, Y, da. Uh, okay, Manhattan distance. Hmm. What is N? 10, oh no, 200 volts. Hmm. Hmm. This is an annoying one. Is this is really the third problem. Okay. Hmm. Are they sorted in any way now? Uh, huh. I mean, this is just brute force, I think. But, okay, well, it well, doesn't have to be, but... What is the cost of the special roads? Oh, they go to you. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> They're not bi directional, right? Okay.
is it five elements? Okay, four. is less than distance of index cos uh, that's what I forgot that looks that's why it looks awkward cos exy okay yeah uh, let's also add indexing, I guess. If distance of i is greater than is greater than d, then we continue. Okay. Otherwise s is equal to min best of current x y uh, x minus target of zero plus y minus target of one plus d okay <coughs> uh, five and seven should be fast enough yeah Oh, and people already solved this one. How am I doing anyway? Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Stay good. Stay healthy. Do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.